Good morning, Brady. <laughs> Boys, what are you doing on the bed? Boys, what are you doing on the bed? Don't. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Buzz, Buzz! You can give yourself a heart attack. You ready for a trip? You ready for a trip? What the? <laughs> Back! Back beast! <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at me. Are you guys ready for a trip? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> yeah, play, no, not the carpet. <laughs> Watch your knee and your face. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's totally cool with it. Except for this part. Do you think it's going to rain tomorrow? I reset it, but now I don't know how to go. Will you put it. your hands on the wheel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you guys noticed a difference in camera quality, I don't know if you can tell. My other camera is now broken. I went to, we went to turn it on at the rock gym yesterday, and it just, the lens just shifts in and out. I don't even know what it is, and that's the second one that has broken since I've gotten it. So, I'm kind of maybe thinking about getting a different type of vlogging camera so if you guys have any recommendations let me know until the meantime this camera I've actually had since before we got married it's the Olympus tough and it's by no means a crazy fancy camera it was a couple hundred bucks but you're supposed to be able to drop it from six feet and take it underwater so I mean that's not bad hopefully the sound and everything is good on these videos but yeah, and I mean, of course, the new camera is not something that I can just, oh, let me go buy a new camera. I have to put it on a credit card, so it's not something that I'm going to do on a whim. Yeah, I'm still paying off the other one, to be honest. So it might be a while until I get the camera situation figured out. See you. At least it's not blazing hot, you know? It's 71 degrees! That's cold! Let's go outside. It's, it's like, in the rain. like Colorado weather. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't mind it. Especially now that I have a waterproof camera! <laughs> Outside! <laughs> yeah! How do you feel? Feel ready? Not yet. <sighs> um, so we've spent the last, it's been at least an hour, getting, like, packing things up. Matt took out the, took the black water over, getting everything situated, and we're pretty much about to load up and head out. First, hook up the truck to the trailer. It's unhooking the hose and the electric right now. I need to find Bergie Bergs, so we can harness her up and get her ready, because once we turn off the AC, in the trailer, we need to have everybody in the truck and, and loaded because it's hot, it is humid, it's duty out here. So we're gonna get all of that taken care of and then we will see you guys on the road. How far are we? Uh, we're like 40 minutes maybe. It's not bad. So she's having a little bit of a rough time, but she'll be okay. We're gonna check the tires and everything, make sure everything looks normal. As far as we know, everything is good. You're doing really good. Oh, well, thanks. You're doing real good. I might go in and look around. Yeah, we're 40 minutes out. Put the car on so the cats and dogs are yeah. broken. Okay. Yeah.
y'all. I know Matt's not very happy to begin with. Um, he doesn't have service out here, which part of the whole reason that we're coming is so he can work um, in the various areas around here. So we're going to have to get that figured out. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. He's checking in at the office right now. Hopefully, hopefully things work out because I really don't want to come here for a week and then have him lose out on a bunch of work. So, we'll see. Get one dog. Okay. So, I'm just going to walk one dog at a time. Okay. Do you know where we are? So, we're going to take this road right here. Right mm -hmm. here. And then we'll take the second left. And then go all the way down. It's on our left. It's by, the, by the lake? Yeah, it's not far. Yeah. Alright. Right next to this guy. Ooh, we have a tree! On the other side. Nice. Oh. Brady, come here. What do you have? What do you have? Give me that. Brady, sit. Hey, sit. Give me that. Brady. Brady. Let go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so we're all settled in. Matt's making his dinner using stove. Oh, I was just saying, I can't believe we, we haven't even gone through one tank of propane. Not even one. Since February? March? Since we got it in February. Well, yeah, I guess March, really. And then we took showers. So our game plan uh, for the week is he's going to head out to several different areas. We've got Lano, Burnett, and Kingsland, right? Marble Falls. Lano, Burnett, and Marble Falls. And he's going to head out to each of those on a day, each day, and see about sales and do some marketing stuff, you know, do what he does. And then I'll be doing workouts and working from wherever. We haven't decided whether we're going to travel together or not because his cell phone service is spotty, so he might need my phone. So we'll just kind of take it as it comes. But tonight, we're going to watch a movie. I'm really excited about this and eat dinner and relax because I'm, I'm honestly kind of exhausted. It was a whirlwind of a day getting everything together um, and then getting here and just trying to get it done in the heat. I was sweating bullets. So we're going to eat and we will see you guys very soon. I got some pancakes going and then I think we're going to sit outside and eat in just a minute. We're going to test Brady with the crate in here because we haven't had him in the crate in the RV in a long time. It's really good in the crate at his parents' house, but of course this is a different environment, different situation, so we need to make sure he's not going to bark a lot because this place is a little more strict when it comes to dogs um, and animals, so we need to make sure he's not going to bark and get us kicked out. A little tip for the best pancakes ever put some type of like Biscoff or cookie butter or nut butter in between the pancakes and you'll get like gooey layers in between and then just a little bit of syrup on top. And this is the pancake mix that I'm using. The ingredients in it are pretty solid. If you're into that kind of stuff it's actually all organic which is pretty cool but this one has chocolate chips in it too. And then I added a little bit of protein powder and that's why they're darker. It's a chocolate protein powder. Matt's about to go do some rounds for um, marketing sales, and me and Brady are just chilling in the car. I've got my computer right here, so I'm going to turn on my hotspot and get some work done. Then I've got a Skype session, just a Skype date with a friend of mine. So yeah, so our, our work day is starting. Go get it, hun.
Kitty. Kitty. What you doing? What are you doing? Matt saw the uh, <laughs> Coke machine last night in the dark and it was all lit up. Well, I want the Coke Zero. Then we might have. Oh, what? What? Is there. No. It says try it. But... No, it's not a play. Okay, cool. I'm going full calories. So we're going to check out the laundry and exercise area. <laughs> Yeah, this is nice. You, oh my gosh. I think you need to scoot your seat up a bit. I'm like right there. Damn. Your face. Good. So where do we get in? Oh, there we go. Here we go, right in. Watch out, Brady. I don't know if you guys can see the general gray in the light over there. It's not a glare from the sun, it's smoke. Why? Well, this guy went real hard on the burgers. Yeah, it did. And we didn't have the vent on. Oh, yeah. And now it's smoky as heck in here. But now we have two vents on, the door open, we should be good. If we die, guys, it's because of smoke inhalation. But it smells so delicious. I swear I have vacuumed like five times since we've been here. There's a lot of gravel outside, so every time either us or the dogs come in, we track in a bunch of just small little pebbles, and so whenever you're walking around barefoot, it's really annoying, so I'm constantly vacuuming right now. And I mean, it's not a terrible thing, but it's just, you don't realize how much crud that you drag in until your home is so tiny.
Oh, there's people in the middle now. There's people where? They weren't there before, right? Whoa! Yeah. There's like three new people. Mm-hmm. Is it about to get packed up in here? Probably, for the weekend. Oh, sorry, kitty. Didn't see you there. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> I think the trip's going well. I've had worse trips. Have you, Brady? We're about to head to the pool. Tomorrow we're going to Marble Falls for work. So Lano is not the most vegan for this area in general. It's just not the most vegan friendly. Not that we were expecting it. It's just funny because I go into their grocery store and it's just like animal like meat everywhere. So it's like I'm just gonna grab my veggies and my dates and cashew milk and be be out of the way. <laughs> Lano, they have a really cute little downtown area, so we went and sat at a coffee shop, which was so adorable. What's it called? I mean, Fuel. It's called I, Fuel. I wouldn't call it adorable, but they have live music. I think it was adorable. Dorbs. It was adorbs. And then next door, they had a, what kind of shop? Just like a little boutique? Well, yeah, they, they're covered in antiques. That whole mm -hmm. place is like antiques, gift shops. It's like one of those places where it's like, if you go down in, in like the central Texas area, and you hit up like, uh, what is it? Uh, Fredericksburg? Yeah. What's the other one? Fredericksburg, Wimberley, mm -hmm. Lano Burnett. Oh, Johnson City? That's the one. Yeah, those places. But I, I got in a long conversation with the lady who owned the, what is it, Texana? Texana Outfitters. Yeah. Really cute little shop, and I got in a conversation with her, and it's just cool to connect with people like that. So I'm going to put the information in the description box. For both of those shops, um, if you guys are ever in the area, definitely check them out. Um, they were really, really awesome. We might go back. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going back this weekend. We also want to go to Longhorn Caverns, which is so cool. It's been like we went, it's been like five years at least. No, it was like Isn't when that? we first started dating. So like eight or it's nine. Like eight or nine years ago. Um, I, that'll be really cool to go back there. Just explore the caves so hopefully we can go and show you guys um the depths of our relationship huh? 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 i don't know what that means so, <laughs> so hopefully you guys go. are enjoying the vlog boom hopefully um we're gonna go ahead and close out part one i feel like that's a really unflattering angle your foot in the background we're gonna go ahead and close out part one of this vlog so of course we always ask you guys hit that thumbs up if you did enjoy it and comment below if you ever have been to this area like Lano or Bastrop or Marble Falls and let us know what your favorite part about the area is so far my favorite part about the area is that coffee shop and my favorite part is uh, how Blair keeps confusing burn it with Bastrop <laughs> we didn't go to Bastrop I didn't say Bastrop you just said Bastrop did I say Bastrop We'll look at playback. Lano or Bass Drop or Marble Falls. Bass Drop, Bass Drop. <laughs> How about that? You keep telling me that we're going to Bass Drop. Why? Before this whole trip started, we thought we were, I thought I was going to Bass Drop. <laughs> Burn it. All right, yeah. we'll... Look on a map. It's like hours away from each other. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. Yep. Have fun out there. All right, bye. <laughs>